obviously you're a big nature guy. You love, you know, nature, the ocean. You're always surfing or skimboarding. I see you do a lot of uh, stuff with like shark teeth, which is very intriguing to me because that brings out the inner kid in me. I used to, uh, so my mom actually lives in Florida in the panhandle. Um, and we grew up going uh, and vacationing in Destin, Florida. Like that was our spot. Nice. Um, so I always looked for shark tooth and I never found anything. So what's your secret? Like, how do you, how do you go about finding so many shark teeth? So the entire state of Florida used to be completely underwater. And, uh, that's the time period when the Megalodon was alive. So Florida, um, Venice, Florida, Casperson's beach is the shark tooth capital of the world. And it's because the fossil layer that is underground Due to the process of erosion in the ocean, the fossil layer has been washed out. So, like, you know, if you dig a giant hole, you'll see a bunch of layers in the, in the wall. So, eventually, anywhere in Florida, pretty much anywhere, if you dig down deep enough, you will get to a layer in the ground that is full of shark's teeth. Really? Some layers so, are better than others. Are you talking about on the beach, in the ocean, or just on no, land? I anywhere. never hunt. I anyway. never hunted the beach. Okay. I honestly almost never hunted the beach because you only find teeth that are about this big. So we go to um, – Florida is very flat, and it's very swampy, and it, it can flood very easily because it's flat and because it's swampy. So when they build neighborhoods, not only do they need enough dirt to build the houses up, they need a certain amount of lakes – according to how much pavement they lay so that the pavement can drain into the lakes. So when they dig these lakes, most of the time they dig down deep enough to where they hit the fossil layer. So they'll okay. pile up all these dirt piles and after a big rain, it washes away all the sand and all the dirt off the piles and it just leaves the big stuff and the teeth. And uh, we'll just go walk around construction sites after it rains or we have a couple buddies that are digging some lakes close by where we live and they'll let us climb down into the bottom. We'll bring some gas powered uh, pumps and we'll pump water into the layer in the bottom of the lake. Like the lake's drained and the layers up on the wall and we'll pump out all the dirt and all the sand and all the sediment and it leaves the teeth. No so way. That's crazy. I had no idea about that. Yeah. We found a couple thousand Megalodon teeth. Holy we found shit. Mako's, Snaggletooth, um, Great Whites, Pretty much every single kind of fossil that you can find in Florida, we found. And it started as a hobby, but now it's like an addiction. It's just like a never ending treasure hunt. And yeah. I, my entire house is completely full of shark's teeth. I got giant um, like vases full of them. I have 15 cases. I got like giant jewelry cases full of teeth. And it's, it's a lot of fun. And we actually really would like to open a museum someday. We're trying to buy. 50 to 100 acres that we can open a fossil farm so that people wow. can come and hunt for shark's teeth with us and we can teach people about them. That's cool. I like uh, there, that there's idea. There's actually, there's nowhere in the state of Florida that you can pay to go excavate shark's teeth. Really? And the entire state of Florida is covered in megalodon teeth. So we would love, like, that's one of our biggest goals right now is to buy land and open up a fossil farm and let people come out and hunt and actually find these Damn. giant megalodon teeth that Dude. are so abundant in florida that's a sick idea that's super smart i, I, I yeah. dig that what so do you sell any of them right now or are you just like stacking them up um to try to use them for this idea of yours like what i give a lot away um i really enjoy it i have some teeth that are worth like six to eight thousand dollars just single teeth you know, I probably have no easily way. over a hundred thousand dollars worth of teeth in my house, but no, way. I that's really nuts. Yeah, I would like to rebuild a megalodon jaw. So I personally have found probably like three hundred plus, four hundred, maybe more megalodon teeth, and um, each teeth that you find, according to its shape, fits somewhere in the shark's mouth. So I would like to, you know, use the power of somebody who's good with dentition i mean I, I could do it myself but there's other people who are obviously better to uh create a megalodon jaw and to put it in a museum somewhere how much Hopefully is like our museum. one megalodon tooth worth like on average one tooth can be worth 10 bucks on average say 100 bucks average at least but the thing about florida is Florida has the highest quality, most sought after shark's teeth on the entire planet. You cannot go anywhere in the world and find better quality 
more well-preserved shark's teeth than you find in Florida. And another thing about Florida is there's so many different layers that hold shark's teeth. And um, Florida is actually the like fertilizer capital of the world as well. All of the phosphate fertilizer that we use to feed all the crops across the entire United States and part of the world comes from Florida. And that phosphorus layer in the ground stains the teeth blue and gold. And they're just insanely beautiful. But there's you, the thing is with Florida is you'll get every color in the rainbow of shark's teeth. And most other places only have very limited colors. So people freak out over the teeth here and people pay a lot of money and people travel from all over the world just to come here to find teeth. But there's nowhere that you can actually like do it in a sanctioned way without just sneaking onto somebody's property. So you found a hundred thousand dollars worth of teeth. How long, like, would you say that took you? Like say, say if you compiled it into like, you know, a nine to five, 40 hour work week, like how, how many months would you say it took you to get that, that value amount of teeth? Probably like, probably like six months. Shit. So you're saying I've only been you doing this, this for like, for a full year, you could be making 50 to 200 grand a year, potentially more. Easily. Holy you shit. You just have to have the land to do it on and the know-how, you know? Right. Because yeah. like you could go buy 50 acres and the teeth could be shit, you know? Or you could buy 50 acres and it could be the best site that you've ever hunted. So, like, we'll hunt a do- dozens of different places. And, you know, out of 40 places, we'll find, like, three or four that – are just like world class wow. you know we'll find like probably i'd say half the sites that we check we find teeth at least but the heart of the thing that we're trying to figure out right now is how can we buy the most land for the least amount of money that still has really high quality fossils on it so checking one location for these fossils how long does it take to know okay this is a good or a bad spot just a day if we get a tractor out there we can dig a hill or we can dig a hole and pile it all up on a hill and check the remnants and i you know we've hunted enough i've like what's really cool about this too is uh this world connected us to so many different types of people in florida like one of my closest friends is this 55 year old crazy as hell redneck dude that I met through YouTube because I was looking up YouTube videos on <clears throat> finding shark's teeth in Florida. And I commented on his video and I was like, Hey man, this is so sick. I'd love to come out on hunt, hunt with you sometime. And he replied to my comment with his phone number on his YouTube <laughs> channel. He's only got like a couple hundred subscribers, you know? That's fucking hilarious, dude. So I texted him and uh, we went out on a hunt once and man, I must've gone out with him 200 times since then. And wow. I don't know, he's a great guy, but he's been doing it for 25 years and i don't know i've met all these people that have been doing it for decades you know and they know so much and they've taught us so much and we just try to learn from them and having them on board to help us pick the right property and to help us excavate the right property to find the right material you know we put all these people's heads together that have been doing it for 10 20 times longer than i have it just it makes the whole process so much easier that's so sick, man. That I feel like that would be a fun job. <laughs>